Yes, yes, a full bag. Hello from the other side. I'm going to the gym again tonight. Good morning. And I want to apologize. I have sinned last night. Uh, felt super hungry. So yesterday I worked out from the whole, well, in the whole day I worked out for 177 minutes, according to my watch. And I think I burned a lot of calories. And when nighttime came, I got extremely, extremely hungry. So I'm apologizing for uh, making a sin by eating, uh, I, I don't want to say it, baked chips, a full bag. Yes, yes, a full bag. I think the content of the bag was about 700 calories. Uh, yesterday, I basically went over 3,000 calories, but, but in my, in, my, in my defense, my active calories burned yesterday are about 14, I think 1400 calories. Yeah, that's why my, my watch said. And if you add the, uh, the usual maintenance calories I've been burning a day, funny thing is I'm still under. So <laughs> that's about 3000 plus 1400. And then what I ate was uh, 2400. Over 2400 for my um, consumption, like food consumption during the day, and then the chips I'm getting a little bit over, a little bit over 3000. So I'm, I was still in the in the green basically on the calories in versus calories out. So it's not that big of a deal. Still, I don't want to get used to it and start uh, snacking at night. By the way, one of the other uh, problems it made for me. I couldn't fall asleep for a long time. I, I, I fell asleep at uh, almost 3, 3 a.m. That was horrible. Well, kinda, because I watched something, I dread myself, but I don't like going to sleep that late anymore because then, then I cannot uh, wake up early. Now, on my way to the gym, again, I'm wearing a baggy polo shirt. I, I don't have any shirts left. That's amazing for a gym, I mean. Um, everything is in the in the laundry. So I had no choice. Um, I purchased, by the way, a couple days ago, I purchased new, uh, new Nike, like, shorts, sports shorts. I don't like them, honestly. The ones that I have are better from Under Armour. Those are like very like plasticky feeling. Uh, the ones that I have from Under Armour are more like cotton. So yeah, I like them better. I wonder what attire do you like, guys? Like what uh, brands? I know that a lot of people like Gymshark, but you know, in my opinion. Well, I don't have an opinion honestly about Gymshark because I never owned owned the Gymshark clothing. Uh, so I don't know what to say about that. But to be honest, with the with the rate of the clothes that um, are getting ruined in the gym when you work out. Well, don't forget a lot of sweat, a lot of, uh, you grind them on the machinery, whatever you do, depends. Um, the most uh, efficient way is to buy cheaper clothes, right? Um, if they get soggy, it's uh, like fast, you can replace them and they're cheap and they don't mind spending that money. So this, the Nike shorts cost me about forty-five dollars. This is that's very expensive for shorts. But in com in contrast, if I go to let's say an outlet, and I go to Under Armour outlet, whatever, um, I can find shorts there for nineteen dollars. If I go to um, Walmart, I can probably get something for fifteen. And online, I can get for like uh, sports shorts for about ten dollars. Well, yeah, it won't take longer to get them, uh, shipping and stuff. Um, but still, you save a lot of money. I can get 10 pairs for $100. It's like, as long as I like them, why not, right? 
Oh, people are going by food here for some reason in the rain. Um, so maybe it's worth it. I don't know. I'm gonna buy some cheaper ones. I did order some from China on online. I got them. I were award one of them yesterday. They're very tight. Even the I, I ordered like triple XLs and they're still tight as hell. So again, I don't know. Let's go. Uh, anyhow, we uh, had a talk about clothing. Anybody watching this, let me know uh, what type of brands do you like to wear to the gym? Or if you don't like brands, where do you buy your clothes? Um, that's it. I'll uh, see you after the workout. Bye bye. My heart goes. I'm done with the gym. Uh, to con continue our conversation from before, I have another question about shoes. How do you find the right shoes for you? For either the gym or everyday walking or whatnot. I've tried a lot, a lot of shoes. And I tried the, uh, because none of them fit me. Like I have a flat foot, flat foot syndrome, I think it's called. And because my, my leg is completely flat, so it's not very comfortable if there's an arch in the shoe. Or <clears throat> it's pretty wide because I don't have an arc. Now, I even tried Hoka. I have Hoka brand new in the house not working for me it's pressing exactly where the arch is supposed to be and my, my leg is just dying from pain i cannot wear them that's insane brand new wore them once felt pain like never before and decided not to wear them ever again i might sell them so shortly now <clears throat> the only one that came close to be pretty comfortable but they're expensive as well is qc QC, right, is the Swiss company or Swedish company, whatever. And they, they were pretty good. The problem is because they're the only one that's actually, like, comfortable for me. Uh, I wore them out pretty fast. And now I'm wearing, like, Under Armour or uh, Puma. And they're meh. They're good for, like, a short term. After a couple of hours, my legs start to hurt. Well, my feet. My uh, bottom of the, my feet is where the sole, sole is. Sole, right? So, any thoughts, any suggestions for people with flat foot? Um, what should I get? What should I try? And uh, something not too expensive? It'll be much appreciated. Anyhow, I'm here uh, waiting to pick up my daughter from school. Um, after that, I'm probably going to stop by Walmart. Need to buy some chicken breath. Um, <laughs> chicken breath. And then, I'm going to go home, get ready for workout number two. Uh, probably going to go around 7 p.m. Um, <clears throat> that's it. Pretty tired. Barely managed to finish this workout. My shoulder is killing me. Um, wasn't a very productive workout, as far as I can feel. Because I haven't slept like I normally do, like from the hours that I do to the hours that I do. I don't, I didn't like uh, um, falling asleep late and waking up uh, late. So, any thoughts on that too? I would love to hear. Thank you guys. Hello from the other side. I'm going to the gym again tonight. Yeah. So, I'm going for my second session today. It's going to be a cardio ab session. So, I decided to add, if I have the time and the energy, every night, well, every evening, it's like 7, 10, uh, to go to the gym once more to do cardio and abs. Because I always neglect abs otherwise. Uh, I do them at home when I want to feel like it, blah, blah, blah. But this way I can 
100% get everything done. And I'm gonna get some cardio in because I'm starving and I wanna manage to eat some more. And one of the ways I can do that is by uh, sweating, <laughs> well, working out. So I'm heading right now. And by the way, I signed up for a new gym. That's where I'm heading. It's called, it's called uh, Crash Fitness. And the, the thing I loved about them when I looked at it in comparison to LA Fitness that I have, they have, um, they have like 20 racks there for Olympic lifting, whatever, you know, you can, yeah, there's bumper plates and they can drop them and everything. Um, maybe I'll start doing some squats and deadlifts just because of that, because I felt uncomfortable doing it in LA Fitness because it's not that, it's not designated for that to be honest like you can do squats probably but uh if you're trying to do higher weight and you're about to fail you cannot drop it it's nasty on that floor so i decided to go to a new gym we'll see I, they had a promotion no sign up fee like i didn't pay anything for sign up just for the monthly so i'm very very happy about it um it's a good opportunity to try them out and there's no contract, it's month to month, as long as you cancel one before, that's it. And this is actually amazing, we'll see. And by the way, the reviews are insane. Not to this LA Fitness, but in comparison, if we're talking about the reviews, Crush Fitness has way better reviews. I think it's like 4.6 overall, and LA Fitness is like 3.5, like insane differences. And you can see what they're talking about in the comments, like in the reviews too. You can tell like there's a difference um we'll see i will try to get some footage maybe tomorrow i'm going to be doing leg day so it's a good opportunity for me uh to do uh, to record my form as well if i'm going to do the squats or not in deadlift so i'll see you guys later